right, I have located the portage for Bridal Veil Falls right there. And uh, it must be really sick on the other side because this side looks very lovely. <laughs> All right, here we go. It is 9.52 and uh, I've got the pack, my water bottle, and my tow rope. <laughs> because I heard there's a very, very steep part at the other end and it's good to have a rope. So, whether I need it for the backpack or not, or if I just need to tie it up for when I bring the canoe, I've got it. <laughs> it was funny when I said to Hap yesterday, I'm doing bridal veil and Fat man's tomorrow, and then I made a scary face, and he was like, eh, they're not that hard. <laughs> of course, this is Hap Wilson, right, who I think between him and Andrea, they said they have like a hundred years of tripping experience, so I'm at like 18, <laughs> going on 19. <laughs> That's a big difference. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. My knee is really um, not well today, after yesterday. It was throbbing last night when I was sleeping. And um, I took two Tylenol, felt a little better this morning, but um, lowering myself down on one leg, the right one, uh, is really hard um, because it's my right knee that's, that's bad. Both of my knees aren't that great, but the right one is worse than the left one. Had surgery on it twice well scopes so it gets kind of tender when I do this kind of stuff all right so far so good still all right still not looking too bad another put in is hard little stretch. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today. It might even be warm enough to go swimming later if I survive all this. <laughs> oh, here's the campsite. Just taking a, a gander here. There's lots of firewood. Just taking a gander here from the uh, campsite. Beautiful. All right, here's my next little bit. Up to the right over here too. There's a nice Another nice tent pack. We have a small tent. Oh, this would be perfect. Look at how flat it is. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. And they're taking pictures and videos with my pack on. I'm like, uh, you can do this when you come back. <laughs> I'm procrastinating clearly. All right, this is my next section. Still not too bad. I know the worst is coming though. All right, here's my next section. Again, still not too bad. I mean, if you slip and fall off the side, <laughs> it's a different story. But I'm just gonna walk a bit here and I'll. Give you another glimpse of the falls from here. So pretty, look at that. Wow, just stunning. Got the ones coming up the front, and then there's a whole bunch coming around the other side. Around Holy smoke, that's gorgeous. Okay, I feel like that worst is yet to come part has just found me. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, not too bad. Let's still go with that. I'm gonna go up and around here. Um, I could also go down this way, but I think I would prefer to go up and around here. Down the side. 
objects are much steeper than they appear on video. <laughs> okay, here we go. I found the awful part. <laughs> it's right here. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I'm gonna get down that, but um, there's a tree there. I'm gonna tie the rope to it. And maybe I'll repel myself down. I don't know, we'll see when I get there. I was so stunned by this. <laughs> I didn't even look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I don't know if going down this is... Uh, I mean, I could lower it to you down that, no problem. But I don't know about myself. Um, I do see another way. Someone has finagled. Um, and I think I'm going to try that to go over that log and then down the rocks that way. It's still really steep, but it's not as bad as I don't know. I'm going to try it and see. Alright, I walked over the log, not very graciously. Um, I mean, if you lose your balance, you're pretty much done. <laughs> um, so I used one foot on the, my left foot on the rock and the right foot on the log. Over. Um, if I could do that with the canoe, I'd be good, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I can. <laughs> uh, it is really balanced, but I don't know. Okay, I'm almost down, I think. Oh yeah, and the way into the water is super steep as well. <laughs> figure out what the best way to go in is. That is pretty sweet. Oh, this is not really good for me. Oh my god. I'm kind of like still anxious because I'm not done this yet, but I've seen it now and I feel better <laughs> knowing that this is the worst one and I think I'll be okay. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go down this way. Perfect. And then get in the water there. Okay. Not bad. Should've put the rope on the tree though. It's stupid. I gotta like get pretty to get up. <laughs> I'm going up the log. Oh, the log's right here. Huh. Maybe I can bring the canoe up to here. Slide it down, it's just gonna keep going. Okay, I'm not at the bottom yet, I gotta go. Procrastination! Well, I made it to the bottom. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I still have to do the hard part, but, you know, I made it and I didn't die. I, don't even, I didn't even wipe out <laughs> at all. Not yet, anyway. So there's the beautiful falls. There's another one over here. And uh, I'm going to go get my canoe. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a problem going up. I just climbed up it quickly. It took me 30 seconds. But standing here looking down, no. <laughs> I didn't wait till the end. <laughs> I figured I deserved that blue Jolly Rancher right now after that. <laughs> Um, kind of gives me something else to think about, like trying not to swallow it by accident. <laughs> um, I'm back at the canoe. My little journey took me 40 minutes, um, for a 200 meter portage. <laughs> so, um, that's okay. I don't care how long it takes, as long as I can, can get through it, right? I was afraid I was going to get to the end of it and just be like, there's no way I can do this. But I did it, I got my bag down. And now I just have to do the same with the canoe. So it might be a little harder. It will be a little harder. But um, I think I can do it. I think I'm gonna try the log. Um, I think it's fine with the canoe. Um, so I brought the rope back, I don't know why. But here it is. 
I was like, oh, maybe I can like tie a rope like alongside the log or something so I have something to hold on to, but there's nothing there, so. All right, I'm gonna stop procrastinating. Off we go. I made it! Yeah! I'm so happy. Uh, I've been dreading doing this portage for months. I knew it was coming. Uh, I've gotten tips from other people and tricks and um, I don't know, I'm assuming half and Andrea put that log there. Thank whoever put that log there, thank you so much because it saved me and uh, it made this portage a lot easier. Um, this is the hardest portage of the trip from what I've been told, but I still have one hard one to go at Fat Man Falls. Um, before I do that, I have a 700 meter portage uh, that I hear isn't too bad. So I'm gonna jump in the canoe, get on my way, eat a Snickers, because I need some energy, and uh, calm myself down a little bit. Uh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did it. And uh, wow, oh, look at this view. How can you beat that? So awesome. Thank you to everybody who helped me with tips and information. Thank you to whoever put that log there and uh, did anything to help this portage become a little bit easier to do. All right, I'm gonna get going. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Bye, Bridal Veil Falls. Thank you for not killing me. <laughs> it's beautiful. I can't stop looking at them. I know I have to go, but it's like, oh, so beautiful. Paddling through this is just surreal. Like, there's just huge, huge cliffs on either side with, like, rocks that have just, like, slid down and broken off of them. It's amazing. It's so pretty. It's kind of a little creepy. <laughs> I'm still pretty amped up. <laughs> I, um, that was quite the experience. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to forget that. I don't know if I'm ever going to forget that. No, well, we'll see what else this place has in store for me. I'm heading towards a 700 meter portage. I don't know much about it. There's a couple little, uh, boulder gardens at the start of the end, maybe. And, um, it's not crazy. And then I've got Fat Man's, which is a 85 meter. It's supposed to be crazy, crazy hard. I'm assuming it's kind of like what I did at the Cabin Falls, but maybe more difficult. Uh, I have five more portages to do today. I had seven in total. Um, two down, five to go. It's, uh, I don't know, 20 after 11 or something like that. That did take me a long time, but I did say I was going to take my time doing these because I need to and I'm okay with it. Well, I'm now leaving that uh, crazy rock cliff uh, corridor that I was in. The sound of the falls is dissipating. Water is mirror ahead. And I can see a loon on the lake in front of me or the river. I mean... I keep saying lake. I'm not used to paddling on rivers, so there's a loon. And there's a chippy back there. Well, on this route, you can always hear the portage before you can see it. <laughs> I can hear the water rushing. I know it's nearby. Just spotted the sign over on the left side here. And uh, this is 700 meter. Hopefully it's just a nice, simple, normal Tomogamy Portage isn't anything crazy. Um, my legs could use just a walk and not too many hills. But uh, Portage definitely tired them out a little bit. Okay, here we go. I just dropped my glasses and I looked down in the water and there's a little crayfish down there. Doesn't seem bothered by me at all. Hey little guy. All right, I've got the canoe all set up to portage. Um, and I've got the backpack on. I was just thinking, this looks really familiar. <laughs> oh, good times. 
Hopefully the whole 700 meters isn't like this. Oh, just a little rock hopping. And now I got this, so that's good. <laughs> Might take me uh, less time to do this than it did the 200 meter. <laughs> well, I'm about halfway through the portage. Um, it's been really nice like this, mixed in with um, lots of rocks, but not too many parts like that. Um, lots and lots of deer poop on this trail. I was just looking in the forest and noticing how green and lush everything is. There's so much like moss and ferns and everything's just so lush. It's really, really nice. It must be because I guess being close to the waterfalls or the rapids, they get some kind of a mist. I noticed it at the falls portage too. It's really pretty. So green. Green is my color. <laughs> well, it is 12.05 and that took me 15 minutes with the pack. That's the kind of portage I was looking for. It was pretty good. My legs are very, very tired um, from all that work. And uh, it's nice to have this spacer in between this and Fat Man's. Um, this is a really pretty spot. When I come back with the canoe, I'm going to sit here and have lunch and have a break. Uh, my, my legs still need a rest and uh, then I can keep going. But uh, right now I feel like I had leg day at the gym. You know when you have leg day at the gym and then the next day you can't walk or that night you can't walk. Well, I just had leg day and then I'm doing leg day and leg day and leg day and leg day and leg day. And leg day. <laughs> I can feel it in my butt. I'm going to have a really nice bum by the end of this trip. Oh yeah. The only problem with this portage other than the start, <laughs> which wasn't super bad, is uh, there's a very, very steep hill at the end. Um, now I gotta climb up it. So my thighs, which I was trying to rest, <laughs> for the next crazy portage. I don't know, getting worked out again. But after this hill, it's pretty flat the rest of the way. And I have all the way to go to get it, and then all the way back, and then I'm going downhill. So hopefully that'll be enough. Mixed in with my lunch break. Well, you know you're almost back at the canoe when. <laughs> You see the boulder garden. <laughs> That's funny. I gotta make jokes. Keep myself entertained out here. Oh dear. I don't like these. <laughs> Bye. Alright, I have returned with the canoe. <laughs> I must have checked the wrong time or something because that did not take me 15 minutes. That took me like 25 or something. Even though it was pretty decent. My shoulders and my arms are killing me. I am just toast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I know that there's a campsite at Fat Man's, um, but I think it's before you do the portage, not after, which wouldn't help me with my rain situation tomorrow. Um, I'd like to stay there if I could, but... Uh, It'll depend um, on how bad it is and where it is located on the portage. There is supposed to be another campsite just after it, but I heard that it's non-existent. And then there's nothing until I get to Willow. The other three portages after Fat Man's are pretty small, like uh, there's a 240, so a 300 and a 100 and like a 70 or something. But that doesn't mean anything here. I mean, that 50 meter rock hop that I did just before uh, where I stayed at that campsite Friday night, that, that took me forever. So it just depends on how they are. Um, I'm just toast. 
I'm really tired, didn't sleep much last night, didn't sleep much the night before, didn't sleep much the night before. I've been anxious about today. Um, and then just doing what I've done so far is just, Bridal Veil and Cabin Falls just kicked my butt, like sucked all the energy out of me. Anyways, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm having uh, salami and cheese just like I did yesterday. And um, I really enjoyed it. I was just eating the salami and the cheese, like having a bite of each, alternating, and then I had some cookies for dessert. So I think I'll do that today again. And um, I'm gonna move over and sit in the sunshine because I'm a little chilly in my tank top now that I stopped moving. And uh, I'm just gonna sit here and get a good rest. I think it's about quarter to 12. Yes, it's quarter to 12. So I think I'm gonna sit here till at least 1.30, get a good rest. Well, I got a new friend who's coming to join me for lunch. She's hanging out on my pants. I need to sit still more often. Well, it's 1.30. I did what I said. I sat here for 45 minutes. Um, I'm sitting down on the rocks on top of my uh, PFD. I got this nice log behind me, so I've just been leaning on it. And then I kind of put my head down here and uh, just stretched out. I didn't have a nap per se, but closed my eyes for about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I feel better. My body feels better. I'm not sure if my mind, I'm still sleepy up here, but the rest of me feels okay. He's back again. All right, well, I'm gonna go see what this fat man's falls is like. If I can get through it, I'll get through it. If I can't, I might camp there and just stay there the next two nights and then move on from there after. Just have to see how I feel. Okay, <laughs> but I'm not moving. I know, I have to get up. I'm like very sluggish now. Just passing by uh, the end of the 700 meter. Oh, I'm just making my way through the river towards Fat Man Falls. Oh, I'm about halfway there already from where I just was. These portages are, uh, a lot of them are very close together. There's not a lot of paddling involved. I'll be doing a lot more paddling um, the last couple days of the trip. Going through Willow and um, Lady Evelyn and Diamond. It's part of the joy of this trip is that I have a lot of extra time to play with and uh, I can do whatever I want. Well, I was sitting and napping over there and the campsite is right here. Um, and the waterfalls. Um, I'm staying. <laughs> I uh, paddled over. I got into the boat. I'm walking around almost like I'm drunk. Like my, I'm just so tired. My body is just tired. And uh, I don't think I can safely traverse this portage. I'm going to go check it out, but here's the waterfall. along the water. Um, I don't think it's a portage. I think there's another trail for that. I saw another trail. Um, I'm just following it. Just gonna walk through here and check it out. I mean, it's only 85 meter portage. It's crazy. Um, but I still want to see what the deal is. So it comes up here. Thunderous. So loud. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. It was all here, I think. No, that's the trail. <laughs> this is the trail. It comes out to here. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, look at that drop. It's probably where I gotta go. Oh wow. <laughs> Uh, that might be my portage, right there, if 
it is, that's insane. And, uh, yeah, I can do it. But I don't know if I can do it now. But I want to do it now. Look at it. Wow. It's nuts. I might be able to get the canoe down there. I could just take the pack down tomorrow, rainy or not, but look at the ledge, the edge. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I saw a campsite sign finally, and it wasn't where my campsite is. So I'm going to go to the peak. Maybe there's something a little nicer. Not that the campsite isn't nice, it's pretty good. It's better than the one at Cabin Falls, that's for sure. Not the one I stayed at. As I'm heading, oh, there's a privy here. Okay, I'm staying. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> uh, the campsite sign is on that tree there. Um, another trail here. See this trail tape? I guess it goes here. And there's trail tape here. See, even this is just like... It's a kind of rock gets wet and it's just... Nope. Here's where the campsite sign is. There's a campsite at the end too, like there's a fire pit there and a place where people have obviously pitched their tents. And there's a fire pit here. And there's a privy sign. Just looking to see if there's a flat spot for my tent. That's not bad. The only problem is you can't see the falls. You can only see the trail marker. It's scaring me to remind me that tomorrow I have to go down that steep thing. You can see the falls a little tiny bit. But not, I guess. Yeah, you can see them a little bit. I like the area over there better. However, there's a privy here. All right, well, since I'm here, even though I'm tired, <laughs> um, I'm gonna take the canoe down as far as I can get it. And then at least that'll be done. I just have to do the backpack. I don't know how far I can go, but I'm gonna go as far as I can. I'm just gonna take my time. I do wish I had my selfie stick on me right now. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I'm not stopping now. This is the view. <laughs> Down it goes. Alright, well, I made it all down there, carrying it. And uh, now I'm here. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a place to land it or not. So I just put it down. Because I also don't want it to, like, you know, disappear while I'm sleeping or in the rain or whatever. Oh, this is fine. It's not the greatest, but it's too bad. I could probably just... I can't walk there. Oh, and of course, my water socks are off. <laughs> oh, that is steep, eh? Oh, it's not that bad at all. I think I can put it down there and leave it down there. I, um... I took a couple hours to, uh, it's probably been about an hour and a half at least since I've been here. Set up my tent and I blew up my thermarest and put my sleeping bag in the bed and the bed and set up my hammock. Oh, look at this way down. No, thank you. <laughs> um, so it gave me some time to kind of recharge a bit, but I'm still glad that I'm here and I don't regret staying here at all. I think I made the right call. I was just really tired. Um, I just got a burst of energy. I had some cookies and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can just bring it down at least a little ways um, So that I can You know not have too much to worry about tomorrow All right mission accomplished I uh, Tied it to the rock there. There's a really big rock on the bottom. So I tied it to the big rock and Then just in case it slipped out of there. I put another huge rock on top and tied it to that um, I split my paddle in half I wasn't going to lay the paddle down here, but I thought, why carry it, right? I need both hands when I'm coming down with the backpack. Um, so I thought, meh, I won't, uh, I won't do that. So I left the paddle underneath there. I broke it in half, and then I put a whole bunch of rocks on top of them so they wouldn't like get blown away or disappear or anything. And the yoke is there as well. So I'm going to make my way back up this monstrosity. <laughs> and uh, I, I really wish I would have filmed that, but... Um, it was hard, <laughs> and, uh, ugh. I don't want to fall. Like I said earlier, I'm tired, I'm a little bit worn out, and, uh, 
I just thought, you know what? Let's just get it done. And you get the gist of it. It's a lot of rocks, it's really steep, and it wasn't easy. <laughs> now I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna go for a swim. I'm gonna drink lots of water because I'm super thirsty, and I'm gonna lie in my hammock. I can't wait to go for a swim. I'm gonna collect some firewood while I'm down here, though. There's tons. And bring it up the massive hill with me. All right, it is quarter to four on Sunday. <laughs> the camp is all set up. The fire pit is there. It's got my tarp there and uh, my cooking stuff, food barrel, and um, my water's over there in the shade. Got my tent set up on the flattest spot I could find um, that wouldn't get soaking wet if it downpoured. Um, I know it's out in the open, but um, a lot of these other places that were flattish uh, were really squishy with water. Must have like some kind of a runoff coming from somewhere. And uh, the spot that I picked was not. There were also lots of nice pine needles at the bottom um, to make it soft. Got my socks hung up over there, my clothesline, just drying out my sleeping bag bag once again. And my canoe is down by the water. I'm going to put on my bathing suit and I'm going to go for a swim and then I'm going to go hang out in my hammock. I set it up over there um, so you can, well, so I can um, see the waterfalls while I'm laying in it. Alright, well I have left the uh, upper floor of the campsite uh, where my tent and stuff is to come down here to the water level. Um, I'm going to get in the water. It's kind of cold, but um, I need to rinse myself off, so I'm going to get in the water and do that, and, um, and I'm going to go lie in my hammock for a bit. I needed this. I was so tired. I'm so tired now. I'm gonna go to bed really early tonight. Well, I did three and a half portages today. Uh, yes, I'm gonna count that one as a half because uh, it was pretty hard, but not crazy. Um, Cabin Falls and Bridal Veil vale just kicked my butt. Um, you know, the size isn't all that matters here. <laughs> um, but it was kind of like, how to describe this the best way? It's like like flights of stairs, right? So cabin falls, first of all, no one warned me about that. So it's evil, just so you know. It's a good warm up for Bridal Veil. Vale. Um, the put in, I found that was the hardest of all three of them. Well, I haven't put in here, but it's very shallow water and it's rocks and it doesn't like drop off or anything. So it looks like it would be pretty easy to, to put in there. Um, the hardest put in was Cabin Falls. There's like big boulder rocks and then there's like just a little tiny ledge and then it goes straight down. So, and, and then the rocks come out in like, like this. So you can't get your canoe in there, right? You, you put it on the end and there's rocks everywhere too, like in the water sticking up. It was really tough. Um, Cabin Falls was like, I don't know, maybe four or five flights of stairs, right? 
um, you know, and, and they and they were graduating. They were getting harder as you went down them. Um, Bridal Veil was like eight flights of stairs, and they got harder and harder as you went down as well. And then they just went to like ridiculous. My friends Tierney and Andrew, they took the canoe down by a rope. Um, which I brought the rope, but then that log was there and I don't know if that log is just new or if they didn't take the log I don't know, but the log was amazing and then that just gave me enough to go back down the other side So it was scary though. I mean walking on a, a little tiny log with all this stuff I mean all you have to do is just slip one way or the other and the weight of your pack or the boat will just down the cliff so Anyways, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, it was better than I expected um, or I did better than I expected. I'm not sure which so I think today I'm gonna have a really good sleep I've done even though I want it to be done fat man's so that's why I wanted to go to Willow, but um, I'm done fat man's I mean I'm not done it I still have to do the two bags and yes I could slip and fall and whatever, but the canoe is the really hard part All my worries are gone now pretty much. I mean not all of them obviously I mean, still got a lot of tripping to go um, This is day three so I still have four days to go trying to uh, find the last patches of sun up here um, there's only a couple the tree is uh, blocking the sun and um, I'm trying to get my hair dry before it gets dark because it's pretty chilly at night and um, it's gonna be worse if my hair is wet so I've just been trying to find sunny patches um, just starting to make dinner I am having something I think is gonna be yummy I don't know I've never had it before I've got my angel uh, hair pasta, I just brought two nests, and I bought this package at the store, um, Carbonara Pasta Sauce Mix. It's by Knorr, and um, I thought it might be good to try. I like Carbonara Sauce, and I usually use the Sidekicks, but um, I have this, so uh, the water is actually boiling already, so I'm going to go throw the pasta in. Um, I'm gonna put some butter in there as well, some garlic of course, and uh, I have some two-year-old cheddar that I'm gonna throw in, throw in there and mix in, so it should be delicious. I'm sorry, I'm just too tired to film all this stuff today. Um, I put a little bit of water in, I put the pasta in when it started boiling, and then uh, I started stirring it, and then shortly thereafter I put half the package of the carbonara mix in just because I mean, I obviously don't need that much. It smelled like bacon. I can see there's little bits of bacon in it. And um, I put a big blob of butter in there from my container. And I'm just gonna let it simmer until the sauce thickens. I couldn't read the directions on the package because then I'm bring my glasses out and I got tired of getting up and sitting down. And I'm just, I'm really sore and I'm really tired and I just, I don't care. <laughs> so this is what you're getting today. There's no camper Christina cooks video. There's just me holding the phone over top of the pot and that's about it. So I gotta go stir this because it's getting stuck to the bottom. Okay, so there's my pasta, it's all done. I put um, a couple of slices of two-year-old cheddar in there. I added some garlic and it tastes really, really good. It's very, very hot. Um, now I had um, my eggs break yesterday, well, one egg. I was supposed to make an egg sandwich for breakfast this morning with this lovely English muffin. And, um, well, my egg broke. So I couldn't use it because it was all over um, the Ziploc bag. And uh, I thought, well, what am I gonna do with this English muffin? So today, I was thinking of dinner and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I'm starving, 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 starving. So um, I said, well, hey, why don't I take that English muffin? It already was buttered, put some garlic on it and make garlic bread with cheese to eat with my pasta. So that is what I did. Ta-da! I'm just gonna let the cheese melt and then that'll be ready to eat my pasta. All right, well, there's my garlic bread with cheese. It came out really nice and brown, golden brown. And uh, I'm just sitting here eating my pasta, watching the sun start dipping behind the trees. Well, <laughs> Got a little fire going and uh, I'm ready for dessert after I ate that big meal with like the garlic the garlic English muffin it was actually very very good with the cheese on it 
um, and my pasta and I was stuffed but I want dessert I think I deserve it today so I'm having uh, one of my new favorite desserts the wrap um, I just brought chocolate chips and mini marshmallows this time it's like a s'more wrap so I'm just gonna roll it up put it in the foil and uh, I got my grill here to stick that on the fire lay it on top um, oh and I'm gonna put butter on the outside so it gets brown and crunchy yes uh, it's just starting to get dark and uh, it's 20 after 8 I've just put the last uh, little bits that I'm willing to share with the fire in there for tonight and uh, when this dies out I'm heading to my tent to bed I am like I can barely like focus my eyes I'm just so exhausted I cannot wait to go to sleep uh, and I hope I have a great sleep tonight. And I'm like, I keep hearing voices in the waterfalls and I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I just brushed my teeth and put my deodorant on, put some cream on my face and did all the things because I had my little bath there, jumped in the ice cold water. I can't believe how cold it is. It was just so warm. Like you couldn't even get refreshed. It was so warm and now it's, like the water's freezing, so that's crazy. Anyways, I'm just sitting here by my fire. I'm hitting the tent soon. Well, it's 9.30 and I am in my sleeping bag. Just getting ready to go to sleep. I'm super tired. It's nice, it's not as cold as it was last night. Um, so it's comfortable to sleep. Great day, amazing day. Uh, super challenging, hardest day ever. Um, I don't know, made me feel kind of like a superhero when I finished all those portages, all of them, like those two, just Cabin Falls even, just finishing that one, I was like, yeah, so um, it was pretty great, uh, and I'm halfway done this one, and I know it's not too bad, so that's really good. It's supposed to start raining at 1 o'clock in the morning, and um, it's 80 POP during the day and 80 POP at night, so we'll see what happens. Um, you never know. I'm gonna go to sleep for now and we'll see what's going on when I wake up. Good night. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.